So guys, I was cooking dinner after work and I'm working in a kitchen again, so I don't know why the fuck I didn't just like make food before I left, but whatever. Um, and I was listening to some C++ conferences because I do that a lot. Um, the language has a lot of ex great experimentation going on and they are a great source of both what to do and what not to do. So I really like to watch those videos for that reason. And something was mentioned, a paper that I found quite interesting. And it was a paper on, oh, oh, so I uh, found it interesting enough that I found the paper and read it. Um, so it's a paper on, This programmer, computer scientist, really, um, was at the coffee shop. It was a Starbucks specifically. They kind of had to change the name of the paper. A little bit of interesting history about it. Um, but he noticed that sort of concurrency was working quite well without really needing to rely on mutexes, that there were ways in which things would happen concurrently in a coffee house, a cafe, if you want to call it that, because some people have issues with that. Um, that, you know, th there were ways in which things could happen at the same time and work really well that weren't really the way programmers were approaching things. And... Um, for those who aren't super familiar, I've mentioned it in other videos, but I don't talk about it a whole lot. Um, most of my work experience is with uh, cooking and medical work. I, I sort of can't stick to anything. I, I, I like I like the variety. Um, I, I get bored after a few years and want to do something else and sometimes go back to... Yeah. And um, that... It, the whole thing really got me thinking because I have done a lot of different stuff. And so, so I come at things with um, different perspectives than others generally do. And so I never really had the problems dealing with concurrency that are so often talked about in programming. And it's not that I'm some kind of genius, because I promise you, I am not. I do stupid shit all the time. I try to leave those in the videos, just to kind of show that, like, look, we all fuck up. It's just the approach. And so, since I've decided to no longer do the Ida videos, I think... What I'm going to do for now is a little series where I apply programming best practices to cooking just to show how fucking idiotic and out of touch a lot of it is. Um, Tomorrow, assuming I don't sleep in ridiculously, which I haven't been, so that it shouldn't happen. Um, there should be plenty of time, and I will do a video on uh, making breakfast using the best practices taught in functional programming. It's ridiculous, and it, it will show how just absolute fucking nonsense it is. Until then, have a good one.